Hey folks, and uh, this is just really for shits and giggles. Uh, what I'm going to do, I've got the, uh, as you can see, I've got the Fidelity Fur Coat No Knickers out again. It's working. Uh, but what I want to try and do, uh, what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to try and use uh, these amplifiers and these little miniature amps in it and uh, take out that big bulky thing that I put in there and I think these will work better as well so that's what we're looking at doing on this video is just uh, basically there we've got the power here we've got the input here going across which I'll obviously do a better job of and we're going to take them off these heat sink and I'm going to isolate the metal bar that goes across the chassis and we're going to mount them onto that. So, without further ado, and I'm hoping they're going to be able to do this quite easily without having to take the whole thing apart. Because the reason why, the, the other reason why I'm doing it is because the uh, regulator I've put in there is interfering with the radio on AM but doing it badly so I'm thinking if I change the amplifiers I won't need them regulators I won't need that regulator because they're, 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 these amps can you can put up to 30 volts into them and this only puts 25 so we can go straight on no problem so that's what we're doing. We're going to have a mess about the fur coat, no knickers, because there's nothing else to do. But uh, I just thought for the hell of it, why not? I mean, there's not, not really much retail value in this thing anyway, so yeah, let's have a look. Now, there's what I originally did. I put this amplifier in and basically what I want to do I want to mount the new I want to mount the other amplifiers on here and I should be able to do it because this uh, if we start off see I've got this regulator in here and this plays have it with the AM radio so and I think I can do something about tidying this all up anyway and making it better than what it was. So we've got... So if I unscrew this from the cabinet, I know what wires go where, I put it... <sighs> I put it in. So this is the live. That's the live feed. And this is your out. This is your 18 volt output to your amp. So basically, what I want to do to start with, I want to work out and make sure that I can fit these amps. Now we've got that's your that's your input and. There you out there, there you output obviously your speaker sockets. So Oh pardon me. I might have to take this out to get this out, but we'll see. But uh that's what I'm planning on doing anyway, it's uh, a bit of a mess about. Really just for shits and giggles. And uh, I'm hoping I don't have to turn the thing upside down because we've got a ground wire here. Uh, that, this is your live and this is your ground. And these amps, uh, these, amps are, they, these amps are about 20 watts. Uh, between 15 and 20 watts each I'd say. Well that's what the manufacturer said they had. I don't really think they're that much. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the amps off the board here. And we've got, and what we need to do is make sure 
that the two heat sinks don't show and we want to keep all this together because we know that all this is compatible with each other so we want to keep all that together because we know everything on there is all completely isolated nothing shorts out to the heat sink and this is heat sink here anyway this is this is aluminium like I say it's for shits and giggles it's for a bit of fun and um, we're gonna see really what we can do I mean uh, we can add a bit more heat sink if we need to to uh, you know it's just a little bit of fun for me to just amuse myself um, there's no heat sink cream on there but we're going to do a bit of testing I have got some heat sink cream I will put on well you don't really need it though with these pads you know you don't really need it with these pads that's what I find but I know someone in the comments will tell me I'm wrong but uh, you know we'll see but uh, See what I want to do is try and use that's that's it. I want to try and use as much of that as I can, so we'll put that there for a minute. And what I want to do, I want to make sure that this is completely isolated from any other part of the machine. And the way to do that. is to clip it to ground continuity test on and go around it now nope nothing on there check the earth uh, ooh. <sighs> and the earth to, uh, to the plug my fucking heat shrink's coming off. Oh, well, that'll have the iron on, won't it? I'm going to have a bit of supper in a minute anyway, so we can come back to that. Just see if, I've, see if this other piece of heat shrink will fit on here, because that's not doing the job really well. Just I like heat shrink I like to I like my probes to be insulated and that doesn't so what I have to do is shove that back on and just try and insulate it or drop a bit of fucking summer on there. Anyway So we check the deck is earthed. Well the deck will be won't it? I wanna pull the toenail wires through as well a bit more because we get we're having a bit of an issue. Where the tone arm wires are causing the arm to skip forward slightly. So I want to do that while I'm at it. That's my meter at the floor. That's the tone arm wires dealt with. It's where they should be. My meter fell on the floor. It's a good meter this. Takes a lot of stick. Needs to do it. I own it. So what we're what what we're doing now what we're doing now I'm going to clip to the record deck, clip to there. Yeah, that's okay. And there's nothing there now, so there's no earth there, so we're okay. So we can actually take. So we can actually take this amp out, which actually will just clip out. One, two, right, let's just get the screwdriver. Oops. It should clip out. 
and it clips in. There we are, there's one side. Let's get this side out. There we go. Now, Now that is your input, uh, left and right respectively. Which comes from there. So... That's your left and right input there, so... I need to work out which is left and right, it does tell me. So, that one is right input. So let's make sure that we're right there. Uh, yeah we are. Let's double check it. But I said, but, but, yeah, clip that off there. Let's take me clip off. I mean, this is just for shits and giggles, this folks. It's, I've got fuck all else to fucking do. I may as well do this. And they're the speaker terminals, which. I'd like to put the amps here, but I'd like to, I'd like the speaker, let's disconnect the speaker terminals. We're taking this amp out anyway, and this is actually... There we go, and this is the power. Yeah, so that's that. That's that module out of there. Some shit on this, I don't know what it is. But like like something that's exploded or got on there or something, or it might be that dirty old glue. Yeah, it's dirty glue. Anyway, we'll save that for another project. Um We've got this here which out plus 18 volts and so what we'll do, we'll leave all this as it is. Because I don't think it's the regulator that causes the issue. I actually I actually think it's the fucking I actually think it's all that stuff on that board that causes the interference. But we'll soon find out if we have to take the regulator off then we will. And this regulator should be putting out 18 volts. And now let's bring our amplifiers back in. Uh, let's bring our amps back in. These are what we're going to be using. Which are two basically mono amplifiers. So what I need to do to start with is just... So I know what I'm up to. Because I wired these. But they're obviously, obviously going to be rewired anyway. But just so I know what I'm up to separate the fuckers. There we go. Uh, and this is power 
this is power to power both sides of them so we'll snip that there we'll snip that one there because we'll probably put new wires in anyway and this is the input which we're not really too concerned uh, that'll need to be redone so we we'll just snip that off there and we we'll end up with clean wires there we go put all this out of the way we can work all this out see this has to go through so that nothing shorts anywhere and I'm not happy with that there there's like a ridge Uh, like a ridge there which I'm not happy with but saying that where's the saying that I can take that ridge down I mean I'm alright tonight because my neighbour's away my neighbour who lives upstairs uh, she's away until Friday so I'm not restricted by noise Or noisy implements which means which means I can use the Dremel Let's get this in the position I can see it better shift this amp I want to get this smooth really Oops. I don't want to fucking smooth out do it let me just look at another alternative because there are other alternatives not just stuck with one now let me see if I can mount this transistor, this chip uh, on there. Let me mount this amp. I mean, ideally, I mean, ideally, I mean, I need to work out how I'm going to mount the fuckers anyway. So let's take these little bits off the back here a minute. Take the screw out of there along with the insulators. See that can't go that way because the circuit board would hit the thing so that can't go that way. See that lifts there. It has to sit flat. See that could go there and could the other one go next to it. Have I got enough grace there? I mean that's okay there, but I'd have to put another hole next to it and so that you can't put that there because the back head, the bottom would hit it. Let me see if I can bend that down there. No, but I used to say I couldn't do it that way. further down so it's flat and straighten it back up that would be that would work now that could go in there it does mean taking all this out though I'm not bothered that would go in there
so we could use it that way and use the other one that way so we'll sort that one out as well as I say this is just for shits and giggles a bit of fun um, but I actually think I mean really I mean I mean I mean really I mean really I would have liked to have had them somewhere like there but you can't get them in just can't get them in there I mean like there that would have been nice to put them there can't get a minute, or can you? I mean, what value is that fucking big capacitor? Because if I could put a, a smaller one in there, 1000 UF at 50 volts. Be back in a minute, folk. If I could put a smaller capacitor, I might have got a transformer there as well, haven't I? So, let me just see. Just straighten them wires up so they're out of the way. Right, so I'll put one there because one will fit there, there's no problem at all. You can get one there, just it will fit. It will fit there, if it will fit, it will fit there. And the other one, straighten that back up, I'll probably snap the fucking thing. Gently back up. There we go. Oh, well, we've got that back up without snapping it. Now, if I clean that paper or shit or whatever that is off, move that capacitor over slightly. There we go. Yeah. Look at that. You can put one there because we're not going to hit the record deck. We're well out of the way of it. So if I get my little marker. Be back in a minute. Let me just go and get my little marker. Uh, I need my marker so I can mark this out. Because I'm going to I'm have to pump a couple of holes in with the drill. But luckily enough, as I say, I can do that tonight because my neighbour's away, so those little things I can do, you see. But it's just really, I mean, I've got two holes already there. I wonder if I could fit it that way. I wonder if I could, could have fit it that way in. I've got, I've got holes already there. Let me just put my old glasses back on. So yeah, this is just working out. Different alternatives, they're a bit old, a bit big, them fucking holes. Uh, but, uh, I think, I think that if I put them in that way, they do go nice and flush. Uh, you're not shorting anywhere. No, you're not shorting anywhere. So if I feel if I put one there and put the other one on there, because all you've got there is the FM aerial lead for the radio and. We can just push that down. There we go. And the, the insulation on that's pretty thick, so that's never going to show on it. The speaker terminals, yeah, I can bring them out onto here. Uh, but I think, well, I can put that one there. That's no problem, that, and the motor wouldn't even go anywhere near it, so we're okay. And bring that capacitor back to there. Let's 
bring the capacitor over to that say so right out of the way and I can put the other one next to it there I can actually put them I can actually put them there I mean there's a couple of resistors there but we're not touching them we're on the resistors now so if I just come up slightly we're not on them there See, I can't move any further. I'd like to. I'd like to put it there. And could I put it there? No, I wouldn't you screw the deck down to move it. It would motor would hit the amp. So basically, we're going to put it there and put it there and put them next to each other there. Be back in a minute, go and get me marker. Right, well we're back and what we want to do is just mark out where we want to put our new holes so we can mount our amplifier as I'm not happy, completely happy with a fucking black dot because it's more like a fucking smudge all the way fucking through. Why can't you just get a fucking fucking okay, it squeeze right through the transistor, right through the chip rather? Right, so basically, let's try again. That's it. That's where one of them's going. And this one, that's where that one's going. So basically we've got the, so we'll put them out of the way for a minute. Don't cause any problems with them. Now what I need to do now is see if I've got a small drill, a small enough drill I can put in the Dremel. I'll look in my drill drawer for my draw my drill pack my drill box first. Let's see what there is in here. I've got that one, it's too fucking big, that'll never fit. But saying that take the grip take the saying that No no, I've just broke the fucking bit. There we go. Put that in there so I don't get lost. Too small. I was going to cut it off that fucking thing there. It's too, too small. Put that in, in there. Turn this Dremel off together. Turn the fucker on. There we are. Now let's find the fucking drill that'll fit in there fully closed up. No. No. Uh -uh. 
Bear with me. Throw these back in the drawer. Bear with me. I'm not going to give up yet because I think there is some. I think there. Is, I think I have got. I have got some. Uh, let's have a look. Ow! I just trod on a fucking chalk block. I'm not going to fucking need that. That fell out or something because I don't don't use chalk blocks as a rule. Don't like the fucking things. Don't like to use that sort of stuff. I've got a load of drills here. All different sizes. So let's see if we've got something here that will go in the Dremel. None of them ones will. They won't for certain. We've got stuff here. Which is small enough. To go into the Dremel. And we've got, we've got all sorts. We've got that, like that thing there. That's some sort of reaming tool finishing tool or something. Got another one there. I need to find one actually the same size as the transit as the holes in the transistors. It's a bit big, but I can reamer it, so it's not a problem. I can reamer it, it's turn my meter off a little and flatten the battery. Let's see if this will fit in the Dremel. Let's open it up and see. If it does, that'll sort the problem out. I can just drill that. Yeah. There we go. Tighten that up, and I couldn't even go size up. Yeah, let's see if we can do this. the expression hot knife through fucking butter comes to mind same size anyway really when I think about it because I want it the same size as the screws because remember I've got these filler pieces insulators and that was exactly Let's smooth that off Let's make them a little bit bigger them holes oh hang on yeah because they have to go through yeah, because they have to go through the transistor and through the holes as well. So, let's see if we can find a bigger drill to fit in the Dremel. I think we can go one size up, but it's not going to be fucking easy. I think we can go one size up, I don't fucking know. We might not be able to know, we can that's our limit on that. Let's, let's put that back in. And that's our limit. I thought we could have gone another size up. We can't. So what we do, we'll use... What we do, we just reamer it. To the right size it used to be.
try that. It's all in a bit of just just for shits and giggles, this folks. It's and we will smooth that down as well. Yeah, that's that's right. That's spot on. I'll just do the other side now. That one does it. I mean, <coughs> yep, get a bit of sandpaper, just clean off the fingers under there can I get my fingers in man I don't need to there's nothing under there I think we're all right there we go we're done right so Start with this one. Uh, this will be. See, they go through there. What I want to do now. See, I could even put them in that fucking way. But I want to put it. that way I'm going to get the nut this could be tricky oh, I've not put the insulator in this could be fucking tricky let's put the insulator pad on all that nice and straight I mean, it'll all have to come off again anyway but that's supposed to go over that pad isn't it but it doesn't Let's bolt it down. Getting the bolting could be getting the nut on it could be another tricky problem and all. <coughs> Screwdriver. Let's see if we can get the screwdriver. to the nut which we managed to right but the nut's coming through so get all this lined up and the amp is actually not going to touch the resistor so we're okay there and I'll put my finger on the top Tighten that all down. There we go. Make sure now that this heat screw is the screw won't be isolated because that's obviously going into the metal onto the back of the bolt. So the screw won't be isolated. We don't need the meter for results. 
we were only needed for continuity. There we go. Alright, well. We folks are completely isolated. That is completely isolated. So we've got. So we've got. We've got power there, AC, which is live. We've got input here. Miles away from them resistors, oh why? Oh fucking hell, we're a good half inch away. Miles away from them. So basically... Uh, I don't even need to take that back out, you know, to wire that up. I can wire that up in situ. Turn this Dremel off, but we'll leave that out in case we need it for later. And we'll move the box of drills so that they don't end up all over the floor. Uh, we'll put them there for now in case we need them. Probably be a two-parter this, I have not decided yet. So what I'll do, I'll come back, I'll get these wires off. Right, what I've done folks, <sighs> pardon me, what I've done before I play the record, I'll just explain. I've taken this amplifier module out that I put in uh, and just for shits and giggles really what I've done I've put two of these little I've got to finish it off and while I'm here I may as well take this regulator board out because it doesn't need that now they don't get warm well, they get barely warm them things so we're doing okay there. So take this regulator board out. Because we don't need that regulator board in there now. That regulator board was just to give 18 volts regulation to that other amp module because it wouldn't work without it. But these two amp modules here that are in here now. Uh, these two modules I've put in, and then look at that, I've put them in and they're nice and neat. The wires need tidying up, but I'll do that in a minute. Uh, need tidying up here, a bit untidy here. A bit untidy here. But I'll do that in a second. That's just, you know, it's just, just a few minutes, just a few minutes job that. Uh, just... I've just got to insulate these two wires here and then we're done. But uh, if I just shift them out of the way for a minute. Um, oh, pardon me. And basically, uh, all the components on there are rated uh, at uh, 25, 25 and 30 volts and things. So, all right. yeah. so it actually works okay. So what we'll do, we'll put it back down and we'll t t connect, turn it on. Both the speakers are still connected. Radio seems to work better as well. well. What we'll do, we'll go for the record player first and we'll test the record player. I mean, the record player on this is a bit low because it's got a medium sensitive cartridge and it really needs a high sensitive cartridge. But we'll. That's the wrong side of the record, but. That's the wrong side of the record. Oh no, it ain't. It was right. I want track two anyway. Ah, 
actually think it sounds better. That's your left. And your right. Treble. Bass. The record player, fellas, have a listen to the radio. <sighs> the radio, in my opinion, works better. Seems to get a bit of a hum when you first turn that motor on, but it shuts up once it's spinning. So we'll go for, turn the volume down a bit because the radio is louder because of the cartridge. So we'll go for the radio, medium wave. No air really, by the way. and the fat from Hamish Mc... Turn my mobile phone charger on. Don't make any difference now. And that was how it happened. We're reporting it here on Tools for your new home of. And that's the uh, that's the fur coat no knickers for Dorothy. Uh, as you know, I've worked on this before, done the amp on it before, but uh, I want to turn this really into a saleable product. I because I actually want I actually want to have a go at selling this and making it the prop making it the pride pride possession of somebody else, and. Uh, with that, with that amplifier module in, I just felt it was too much of a bodge. And uh, although it was working and it was done nice, uh, I just felt it was a bodge. Uh, but with, uh, oh, I'll leave it plugged in because when I come off I'm going to listen to a couple of singles. Uh, get a couple of records out. <sighs> But uh, you know, I always thought it was a bit of a, a bit of a bodge up with that module in it, and uh, I'd always had plans to change the amplifier module and uh, either put one decent stereo module in or put two decent, half decent uh, mono modules in. So what what I've done basically. All it is now, it's basically just the same as it was when we left the factory. I mean, it's only on a small set of speakers. So, with a... 
With a decent set of speakers, it probably worked better. <laughs> But having said that, I'm happy with that. I can't remember what impedance these amplifiers want to see, but... Yeah, we're picking up radio muslin now as well. We weren't getting that before because there was too much static. Another car did pass in and I couldn't be happier. My first home. Can't believe it. With a post office family link mortgage, your parents could help you get on the ladder, even without a cash deposit. Search post office mortgages to find out more. Post office money mortgages are provided by Bank of Ireland UK. Your home may be repossessed if you do not keep up repayments on your mortgage. <laughs> Right, well that's enough for that. And that's say folks. <sighs> I'm gonna have a brew. Or keep you on and all. I'm gonna have a brew. Listen to me a couple of singles I've got. Uh, that I've got out and uh, uh, give this a good test off camera. And you know I'm happy with it and uh, you know I can I, you know I can polish it up a bit now and uh, make it make it into a bit of a saleable product so I can you know and uh, the amplifier modules are brand new I built them uh, from kits and I know they, I know they work okay so, no noise on that at all, that's lovely. Apart from that, when you stroke the stylus. Anyway folks, I'm going to leave it there, I'm going to get a drink of them fucking... And then play me records for a bit and then I'm going to go to bed I think. I'll catch you later folks and thanks for watching and more to come later.